The best way John Batiste knew how to console Suleika Juad when she was receiving cancer treatment in the hospital was through music because COVID prevented him from visiting her. Every day the Grammy-winning jazz pianist composed a new lullaby for Juad, one of these songs, Butterfly, may be found on his most recent album, World Music Radio. It's just such a personal narrative song in relation to my life and what my family has gone through and my wife and all of the things she's been able to overcome, says Batiste, 36, in this week's edition of People. That's a really important part of the song's narrative. In a 2022 interview with CBS Sunday Morning, she had discussed how much Batiste's lullabies meant to her. She claimed that listening to his music made her feel as though he was right there sleeping by my bedside, in spite of her treatments, according to Batiste, his wife is doing great and just had the opportunity to fly paragliding over the Swiss Alps, he claims, we were able to perform things this year that were unachievable last year. She has a tremendous respect for life and being alive in the world. Everything is going as well as it possibly can, and we just hope that it keeps going, we have a peace and joy that is definitely innate in our personalities, but everybody feels the full range of humanity, he claims. I'm not saying everything is good because it's not, you say. I've battled anxiety and experienced panic attacks. But having the discipline and being around someone who brings out the best in you, without Suleika, I would be completely out of control. You merge into this person, who genuinely aids in the development of your finest self, and vice versa. Batiste has had a busy few years in addition to assisting Juad, she left her position as bandleader on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert in August 2022 after seven years in the position. After everything was said and done, according to Batiste, he experienced downtime for the first time in a long time and used it to devote all of his attention to his art, which was a novel feeling. I've had so many different things on my plate, he claims. Between the musical breakthroughs and career-defining moments, there were many wonderful things that transpired, but there were also many tragic events. Joy and happiness don't just appear. You must visit it. The genre-defying album comprises contributions from artists like Lil Wayne, Lana Del Rey, and Kenny G. According to Batiste, its narrative is from Saturday night to Sunday morning. He describes it as a very, very epic artistic accomplishment. I don't believe I've ever created something that was actually intended to be heard in every single situation. Anyone in your life can listen to it with you. It falls under that category. Therefore, I believe that people should approach the record as if it were a buddy and locate these various niches where the music may just add to the frequency of your life, which is what it was intended to accomplish.